Hi everyone and welcome to June's edition of Azure Updates. As always, I just want to stress that all content is publicly available on the web and this recording is simply a collation of these resources presented in an easily viewable format. If you have any questions or feedback, then please feel free to drop me a message or a tweet because I'm always happy to hear from you. So we start this month's recording with the big news that Microsoft and Citrix strengthened their long-standing partnership to help customers accelerate their digital transformations into the cloud. Moving forward, the partnership will be focusing on the following four commonly requested strategic areas. Firstly, accelerating the move to the cloud. So many know that organizations that make the jump to the cloud quickly realize its benefits. From the real-time ability to provision on demand to a burst in scale when needed, what the cloud brings is a transition from a dated CapEx model to a new pay-as-you-go OPEX service whereby we treat our infrastructure as a utility and only ever pay for what we need when we need it. Now, while the benefits are obvious, moving to the cloud, especially for large organizations, can at times seem like an overwhelming process. And both Microsoft and Citrix are committed to making this transition as painless as possible by offering a managed service solution. The partnership also focuses on accelerating the move to Windows 10. The growth and momentum of Windows 10 has been tremendous, and demand for the operating system has been emphasized by organizations all over the world. Windows 10 is simply the most secure platform for modern business and organizations continue to adopt. For the past year, Citrix has been supporting Windows 10 migrations in three critical ways. Firstly, by delivering immediate app access from Windows 10 devices using ZenApp. Secondly, by allowing rapid deployment of Windows 10 virtual desktops with Zen Desktop VDI. And finally, by accelerating app migration for Windows 10 upgrades by using AppDNA. To help customers move their workspaces to the cloud, Citrix are launching a new Windows 10 VDI service on Azure. What this means is that customers can deploy the most advanced and secure desktops available directly within the Azure cloud, making it easier to align your workspace needs with your business objectives. The next key area is accelerating the move to Office 365. So every day, enterprises move more of their current office workloads to the cloud with Office 365. This move is growing dramatically all over the world because by moving to Office 365, organizations are able to deliver the empowering, modern experience that end users really want on a wealth of mobile devices. To give you a sense of scope, there have been more than 400 million installs of the Office mobile apps on iOS and Android devices to date. Zen App and Zen Desktop stand apart by delivering the full capabilities available from Office through virtual apps and desktops, and this is particularly true for Skype for Business. In fact, Citrix is the only vendor recommended by Microsoft for virtual delivery of Skype, ensuring that customers benefit from the same high-quality experience with Skype for Business that they get running locally on their devices. Finally, the partnership will look at further empowering users on mobile devices. So around the world and almost every industry, businesses face the need to embrace mobility. That's why moving forward, we'll be working together on new integrations between Citrix Zen Mobile, Netscaler, and Microsoft DNS to provide virtual private network capabilities for secure identity-based access to on-premise applications on Intune managed devices. This gives customers a broad array of options for managing access to on-premises applications in an increasingly mobile-first world. In other news, we've introduced a new family of compute-optimized virtual machines titled the F-Series. These machines are based on a 2.4 GHz Intel processor and can achieve clock speeds as high as 3.1 GHz with Intel Turbo Boost technology. It's important to note that this is the same CPU performance as the DV2 series, but running at a lower cost per hour due to the reduced memory capacity. The F-Series VMs are an excellent choice for gaming servers, web servers, and batch processing. Any workload which doesn't need as much memory or local SSD per CPU core will benefit from the value of the F-Series, which range from 1 to 16 core tiers. In addition, the F-Series sees the introduction of a new naming convention. For this series and new VM sizes that follow, the numeric value after the family letter will match the number of CPU cores. Additional capabilities such as optimized for premium storage will be designated by letters following the numeric CPU core count. 
Also this month, we're excited to announce support for multiple Azure storage features as part of the recent upgrade to ASR. We now offer replication to premium storage for both VMware virtual machines and physical servers, each allowing up to 80,000 IOPS in addition to 2 gigabytes disk throughput and low latency. If you're running I.O. intensive enterprise workloads on premises, we recommend that you replicate these workloads to premium storage to maintain performance requirements. Next, Azure Storage Service Encryption Data at Rest helps organizations protect and safeguard their data and meet organizational security and compliance commitments. Storage Service Encryption encrypts your data prior to storage and decrypts prior to retrieval. Finally, replication to locally redundant storage whereby your data resides in separate fault and upgrade domains within the region. From a cost perspective, LRS works out to be much more economical as compared to GRS and also offers a higher throughput. Support for all of these features delivers further on our promise of providing an enterprise class, secure and reliable business continuity solution with support for heterogeneous workloads. Also this month, we can announce the general availability of Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 6.8 in the Azure Marketplace. Already the preferred choice for many organizations, its open, reliable and secure platform is designed for customers who want deployment flexibility for their business critical workloads backed by tightly integrated enterprise grade support from both Red Hat and Microsoft. This new release boasts a number of new enhanced features including enhanced security, authentication and interoperability as well as enhancements to management and monitoring. Additionally, this updated base image enables customers to migrate their traditional workloads into container-based applications suitable for deployment on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 and Red Hat Enterprise Linux Atomic Host. We're also happy to announce the availability of FreeBSD version 10.3 as a ready-made VM image available directly from the Azure Marketplace. Now, many top-tier virtual appliance vendors base their products on the FreeBSD operating system, and over the past two years, we've worked closely with them to bring their virtual appliances into the Azure Marketplace. In addition to this, we continue to work with other vendors to onboard future offerings. FreeBSD is a Unix-like operating system that has descended from Research Unix via the Berkeley software distribution. Today, it is the most widely used open source distribution and accounts for more than three quarters of all installed systems running an open source derivative. As for future versions of FreeBSD, our intent is to stay current and make available the latest releases shortly after they are released by the FreeBSD release engineering team. Next, we announced that the Store Simple family of products can now support Azure Core Blob Storage. This update includes support for the entire Store Simple 8000 series, along with support for Store Simple Cloud Appliances and the Store Simple Virtual Array. This allows customers to switch between the hot and cool choice with a convenient and quick toggle in the Azure portal. It's important to note that the latency for blob storage accounts for both hot and cool are in the milliseconds and the scalability and performance targets are the same as general purpose storage accounts. Effectively, what this means is that customers can mix different types of storage accounts within the same store simple appliance and choose multiple storage tiers to fit their needs. Also going into general availability is Apache Spark for Azure HD Insight. Now Apache Spark is one of the most popular big data projects and known for handling large scale data applications in memory for queries that are up to 100 times faster than standard. Apache Spark lets users perform batch and interactive queries, real time streaming, machine learning and graph processing all with common execution model. Enterprise ready features include high availability with a 99.9% .9 service level agreement, the highest in the market, scale with integration into Azure Data Lake, and security with role based access control at the storage level. On top of this, it offers simplified experiences for data engineers with the introduction of uh, deep integration with IntelliJ, simplified experiences for data scientists with out-of-the-box integration with IPython, and simplified experiences for business analysts with integration into numerous BI tools, including Power BI. Apple's Fair Play Streaming for Azure Media Services goes into public preview. Now, as content providers are no doubt aware, if you want to stream premium content to Apple TV, then you need to use Apple's Fair Play streaming technology. 
Building this solution can often be a long and tedious task, but we are pleased to announce that with our new media services solution, we have hidden all of the complexities, allowing you to easily build a fair play streaming solution programmatically with APIs. Furthermore, with support for fair play, play ready and more, Azure Media Services now provides a truly multi-digital rights management solution for streaming video on demand and live content, enabling you to reach wider audiences on various devices both easily and quickly. Also this month, we've added a free licensed version of SQL Server 2016 Developer Edition into the Azure Marketplace. This version supports the full set of enterprise features, including in-memory online transactional processing, data warehousing, advanced analytics, availability groups, and more. The image doesn't have any limits. You simply pay for the compute charges of the hosting VM, but it's important to note that it's prohibited to use in a production environment. SQL Server Developer works great with your favorite programming languages, including Java, PHP, Ruby, C++, to name a few. Finally, we're happy to announce the availability of the Microsoft Azure Service Resiliency Guidance page that has been created to provide clear guidance on what to do when customers experience a service disruption. Since service disruptions can be localized or more general, it's important to understand both the scope of the impact and what you can do if you're experiencing such an event. To begin with, we have started with some of our most fundamental services. This includes virtual networks, virtual machines, storage, including blobs, queues, tables, and files, the Key Vault service, cloud services, and SQL databases. Each has its own article so that you can search for them easily through an index page and can be found at the following URL. So another big month for the cloud with lots of innovation and collaboration. If you're interested in beginning your own cloud journey or building on top of the systems already in place, then I would encourage you to take my free step-by-step -step training series at www.cloudandproud.info. Working together and over the course of a number of interactive sessions, we will build a working company and explore many of the new features offered by the Microsoft Cloud. This will in turn prepare you for certification and build confidence in what you're able to achieve. I thank you for your time and look forward to seeing you on our next monthly updates.